Okay, this is for helping you with dividing fractions. One of the things that you need to know with dividing fractions is keep, change, flip. You might know it also as same, change, flip. They mean the same thing. It means multiply the reciprocal. For example, the reciprocal of one third would be three over one. The reciprocal of three fourths would be four over three. You are just flipping it. So let's practice, practice some problems. So one third divide by one half. I am going to keep one third the same. I'm going to change my division to multiplication and I'm going to flip the second one to two over one. So I'm going to keep, change, flip. So now I have a multiplication and you know how to do multiplication. 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, so my answer is 2 thirds. 1 fifth divided by 2 thirds. I'm going to keep 1 fifth, change to multiplication, and flip to 3 over 2. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 times 2 is 10. So my answer is 3 tenths. Eight twenty-one divided by 6 sevenths. I'm going to keep 8 over 21, change it to multiplication, and flip 7 over 6. Now I have a multiplication. This one I can cross simplify. 8 and 6, I can divide both of those by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now I'm going to look at 7 and 21. I can divide both of those by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. This is my answer. If we had not cross simplified, 8 over 21 times 7 over 6, 8 times 7 is 56, 21 times 6, you will have to do the multiplication, is 126. And then we will have to simplify this. So this is a lot easier if you cross cancel first. Again, just like if you were in multiplication. 9 divided by half. You will have to put this into a fraction. 9 over 1 divided by 1 half. And then we will still keep 9 over 1 times 
2 over 1 because we flip this one. 9 times 2 is 18. 1 times 1 is 1. 18 over 1 equals 18. If you had 2 and 1 fourth divided by 3 and 3 fourths, you will have to put these into an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. 9 over 4 divided by 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 3, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 over 4. They're both into improper fractions, so now we can do our keep, change, and flip. Again, I look diagonal. 4 and 4, they're both the same, so I know I can divide them both by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Looking across, 9 and 15. What can I divide 9 and 15 both by? 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5. So my answer is 3 fifths. Two and seven tenths divided by four and one fifth. I have to put this into an improper fraction. Ten times two is twenty, plus seven is twenty seven over ten. Divide by four times five is twenty, plus one is 21 over 5. Now I do the keep, change, flip. 27 over 10, I keep. Change to multiply, and I get 5 over 21. Looking diagonal, 10 and 5. I can divide both of them by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Looking diagonal again, 21 and 7. I can divide both of those by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 2 times 7 is 14. So my answer is 9 fourteenths. So try this one. 3 and 1 half divided by 2 and 2 sixths. 